Hello my darlings. This is Grandma Judy. Hope you're having a good day. For the last four hours I have been watching the Hadia Pendleton's funeral. It was a wonderful home going. Grandma doesn't feel any pain because if you look at my videos, this is Hadia's cousin and this is her little brother that's standing next to him there. If you look at my videos, you will see that I have put on blast all the killings in Chicago. At this funeral, remember, my grandma don't have no notes. I just come on and just speak what God puts on my mind. That's for everything. All the only thing God told me to do is, Grandma, represent. Represent. Don't go vulgar. Don't fight back because I got your back. And he also told me he got plenty of good brothers and sisters out there who have my back. And they gonna go, they going to present whatever they feel about anybody who's acting ugly. They're going to present it in their own way. The same way the people who act ugly present it in their way. You know, what goes around comes around. You reap what you sow. So this funeral went on for four hours. The first lady was there, but they wouldn't allow any politicians to stand up and speak. This was her 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 uh, family. Uh, all the children that worked at her high school, the sophomores. People who had been knowing her since she was born. You know, Grandma feels great. Because Grandma predict this, and I'm going to tell you, baby, this ain't going to be the end. More people are going to die all over America until we get these evil, and I mean evil people, off the street. Sometimes we got to even get them off of YouTube. But God told me that's her little brother, uh, Nathaniel. He's speaking now at his sister's funeral. Uh, the mother was named Cleopatra. They call her Mother Cleo. The father is named Anthony. Isn't that something, Cleopatra and Anthony? Uh, and um, everyone loved Hydea. All of her friends spoke nice of her. All of us should think about this. What would people say about us when we die? Will they say that we were a positive person? Would we say, will they say that we were somebody who tried to uplift people? You know, the videos you make and the things you do out in the street and all the little devilments you're up to messing with people's channels and uh, shooting people down and planning all kind of thing. My grandmother told me once, baby, don't dig no graves for nobody. Because if you dig a grave for somebody, you better dig one for yourself. Something else I want to speak out. A lot of people act the way they do because of, I heard it's a new drug called Molly's. So I looked it up to see what is Molly. So it's something like a exodus on steroids. And it has killed a lot of people. And they like the white powder. Uh, many people have written me and say, Grandma, I got your back. I love you. And to those people, I want to say, I love you too. But you know who really has my back? God. His eye is on the sparrow. And he looks out for me. I would just as well close my YouTube account if I would be afraid to speak my mind. Everybody else can speak their mind in any vulgar way they want to speak it. Grandma's coming here speaking my mind out of love and concern. Grandma's telling you, please be careful what you upload on this YouTube because it can come back to bite you. Grandma's telling you, I can't tell you how to do your YouTubes. I can't tell you what kind of language to use. Because all of that reflects who you are. But as long as I live, and as long as I have breath in this old body, I will speak the truth and I will speak straight from my heart. Because like Martin Luther King, I don't fear no man. God has my back. And all these beautiful brothers and wrote me and sisters and say, Sister, we got your back. And I try to tell them, look, don't be trying to go after nobody. God will take care of them. 
And I know this don't have nothing to do with Hydea Pendleton's funeral, but God put this on my mind too. To the brother, out Chris, who's uh, who who was treated so badly by the Los Angeles police. Chris, I understand. There are some people that you can do nasty things to them and they'll put it in the hands of God and they'll keep on. But there are some people with the training and you sit around and call them nasty names and everything. You let them uh, 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 lose their job because they're not supposed to uh, whistle blow on a policeman who are abusing the people. And I'm going to tell you people, it ain't just happening in Los Angeles. We've got some great policemen. I would be wrong if I sit back and say we don't have great policemen. Because if the police walked off the job right then and there, we would have to police it ourselves. And you know what? I think if we police it ourselves, the criminals would run. Because right now we're trying to ask the police, the president, the government, and everybody, hey, you better take care of this before the people start coming out and taking care of it. I mean, you look at Syria, you look at all these, uh, Libya, you look at Egypt, you look at all this happening. These are some of the dancers from the church. That's Hadea's coffin covered in the background there. Um, everybody don't react the same way. Everybody does not act the same way. You can do things to people, and some people just walk on and say, okay. But Chris, I know they aren't going to let you live because they're so scared. They're shooting people that was in a car that looked like yours. I mean, two Oriental ladies. Uh, and you brothers that look like Cliff, like like Chris, I would tell you, please, you bald-headed, heavy-set brothers, stay off the street. <laughs> because these people want to just kill anybody. Because they know this guy is well-trained. This guy is super intelligent. They want to put him as, a, what do you call it, a crazy man. No, the crazy men are the ones that shoot up that school. That's the crazy people. A crazy person is the one who shot up that theater. A crazy person is your people who do crazy things. This guy so far ain't killed but three people. And I'm sorry, but some people will go after your relatives when you do something to them if they can't get to you. That's what I was saying about uh, these people shooting up in Chicago. I don't think they'd be so quick to shoot up in Chicago if they thought that someone, once they found out they were the ones that killed their relatives, would go after their relatives. I think they'd stop. They'd think, you know, I don't want my mama killed. I don't want my father killed. I don't want my grandma killed. I don't want my sister killed. I don't want my brother killed. I mean, I'm just keeping it here real with you. And you know, grandma, when I keep it real, you don't get any profanity. You get straight from the heart. And when I say I'm an OG, I survived Chicago. I lived in Chicago all my life. I was educated in Chicago. And Chicago was good to me. I remember I told you we used to sleep in the park. But I was born in 1942. So I was through with my education as far as high school was concerned. God let me live. 1961, January, I graduated from DuSable High School. 57, I graduated from Willard Elementary School. I went on and graduated from what's called Harold Washington School. I attended Northeastern. I attended Roosevelt University. And at the age, the ripe old age of 61 years old, I got my Bachelor's of Education. But most of my life, if you want to know it, has been in the computer field. So you people want to call me all kind of nasty names and say that I should be knitting booties and stuff like that. I'm busy teaching seniors how to get online. I'm teaching them how to do research. I'm teaching them how to make videos. Not videos for you to talk about them and talk about how ugly they are. I'm teaching them how to make videos to share with the people when we're not here. I'm 70 years old. Some of my friends didn't live to see 70. Some of them didn't live to see 7. I mean, my friends died at all ages. Some died from leukemia, some died from cancer, some died from AIDS, some died from gunshots. The majority of them died from being shot. 
And when I say my friends, personal people, because I'm from the big city. You know these people. And to Mother Cleo, I want to tell you this, and to all the mothers who've had to feel the pain of your child being attacked. God has his eye on the sparrow, and he's going to take care of you, Mother. You don't even have to worry. You're in God's hands. She's in God's hands. All of us are in God's hands. And to my subbies, I want to tell you I love you. I love you. I love you. And if I have blocked some of you and you thought it was blocked unfairly, just email me because I've had attacks on my channel. So I I had to suspect all the uh, subbies that subbed to my channel during that time. My regular people, I know you. You ain't got nothing to worry about. But I had to take out the garbage. You know what I mean? Because I don't think it's fair for you to have to listen and, 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 and see that filth. I, I just don't think it's, 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 it's right. Uh, anyone who wants to have that filth on their channel, that's their channel. They do what they want. And the same way some channels aren't for me. Because the filth is on them. I couldn't say that about an individual. You know, I couldn't talk about how a, a woman's vagina smells like something has crawled up in there and died. I, I couldn't set my mouth to say something like that. But I would say this, maybe because the kind of penis that they had entering that vagina left its smell behind. Because I don't, I can't sit up there and say that about a brother. The brothers that I knew, again, as I told you, I was married most of my life. But the brothers that I knew were clean. They smelled good. You know, they they perfumed down. I think Aramis was one perfume smell that my husband used that I really loved the smell of it. So I'm not going to keep you too long. I just want to put this at my television. The funeral is over now, and uh, they're going to have a um, repast, repast at the South Shore Country Club. I think it's like 79th and South Shore Drive. But I want to thank Fox 32 for putting this on. They broadcast all four hours of this funeral. And uh, I set up my videos and made comments to what people were saying. I'm not going to share those with you, but you know they were positive. They from Grandma. But all I have to say is Grandma loves you very much. I'm in the best of health. And I want to tell you, at Hadea's funeral, only though, even though she was 15 years old, her grandmother's grandfather, great-grandmother, and great-grandfathers were present, present in the audience. Now, that just shows you God don't care what age you are when he takes you. Reminds me of heaven. She was seven years old in Chicago, just selling candy outside, and she was shot down. Remember, go review my videos because I have a great heart and a wonderful heart today because I know I did speak out. I know I contacted the president. I know, but it all fell on deaf ears. And sadly, I think this is going to fall on deaf ears until the people themselves take to the street and take out the garbage. That's the only way it's going to stop. And then when we start doing that, that's when the military will come in. That's when the military will come in. Grandma's 70. I ain't going to be out there with no pistol or anything like that. But Grandma's going to have her, pay, her prayers out there. Grandma's going to say good things about you if you're living a good life. Grandma's going to send her blessings to you. Because so many of my friends are passing on. But then so many people are here. I have a friend, he's 110 years old, and he's still here. And I'm so respectful toward him. So this is Grandma saying, have a wonderful day. God bless you, and I love you very much.